we've always relied on volunteers. We need people who come with lots of different skills and talents and time. We couldn't manage without volunteers. It's as simple as that. Um, they are in many ways the mainstay of the, the, the cathedral. Without the volunteers here, it's, it would fall apart. It's an they are an integral cog in this machine. We need all the help we can get, whether it's in the shop, whether it's in the cafe, whether it's in the garden, in the bar, working at events. It's, over the last three years, we've just grown and grown and developed. And without the help of volunteers, we just couldn't achieve half of what we're able to achieve today. We're always looking for volunteers to help with the education programme. We need extra hands when we're taking groups around the cathedral, or more particularly when we take them up the tower. We need people whom we could train and who would be interested and lively with groups to give them greater enjoyment as they go out the tower. Anyone can volunteer and uh, we accept anyone as well without judgement so it's always, it's always a really nice place to come and help. It's a good opportunity to, to know the, the English culture and Catholic too. It's, it's good for me to, to improve my English. I volunteered because I want to help and also I want to learn the English. I want to polish my language, know about being a Hindu and a Brahmin and to know the culture. Once a month I cook a meal for anyone who comes and it's called the Dean's Dish of the Day and I enjoy it and I think other people do as well. I volunteer here because I really enjoy meeting people, working with other volunteers and it gives me a great buzz. I volunteer here because most of the time I'm working here as a gardener, but I like to give back a little bit more. That's how I got involved in this. It's not just a job that I do. I love embroidery and we do work for the church, which as a group, we just love doing. This time of year, we've got what we call Easter chicks, which we sell in the shop. <laughs> I just love working in the shop. It's just such a lovely place to work. And you meet such nice people and I don't know, it's just a pleasure to come every day. I've been working here for a year now. Today at the Cathedral, Polish community has a food blessing. It's a lovely Polish tradition, it's very old. When I first got involved, I knew nothing about flower arranging and gradually I built up lots of skills which I didn't realise I had and also I've made some wonderful friends. I've joined the flower arranging group, never having arranged a flower in my life, and I absolutely love it. And then the library project came on board, and again, wow. We started the library now about uh, three years ago. You couldn't run a library like this unless you did have a good team working with you. When I'm in the library, just um, sorting out books, maybe I'm um, doing a couple of emails. It's good fun. And you get to meet uh, some interesting people. A really important part of life at the cathedral is obviously its music. We have a wonderful choir made up of a team of volunteers. They meet on a Thursday night and practice for Sunday Mass. Everyone is welcome, irrespective of musical background and ability. So Chris would love to see you. Do come along, get in touch. And it's, it just adds so much to not only the Mass, but also to our life here. It's a very good way of getting to know people, isn't it, when you actually volunteer and you work with them and you have to, to get along with them. Uh, so you really do get to know them and they get to know you as well. They're the face of the cathedral. They're the people that actually greet uh, and talk to the strangers that come in, the people that, that you know walk in the door and think they couldn't walk into a Catholic church. And we do get a lot of that. Uh, oh, I didn't know I could come in here. Well, yes. <laughs> If you've got anything to offer, we'd love to see you. Our volunteers come from so many different backgrounds and experiences. Some people feel that they don't have any particular skill, and in fact, we can really benefit from, from what they can give, from the time that they can give. So please, if you'd like to come, then we would really love you to be a part of us, and we would welcome you with open arms. Mm -hmm.